Red 2 standing by, all four lit and in the green. Welcome back to Metroid Fusion. Last time we melted Nightmare's face off and regained the Gravity Suit, which comes with an awesome cyan and purple palette. Much better than the horrible puke-coloured suit the Varia suit gave us. We're back in style, and we have unlocked level 4 security hatches. So, we can continue on our merry way. There is somewhere we can go, is it? There it is. Now, there's a clever trick we've got to do here. We need to let... We need to kill off the X and let those gold scissors be created. Because we need to kill the gold scissors. And that opens the door. Once we've done that, we can uh, hunt down the. Uh, we can destroy the ouches in here. And we'll be able to get another pickup. Another energy tank. Pretty nifty. Are these bombable? They should be. Yep. They're bombable. Just a collapsible block. But yeah, getting that energy tank is going to be pretty handy. We've got 16 out of 20. So, without some sort of explosive, those scissors can't hurt us. But it's a nice touch in those uh, rooms where you have to let the enemies respawn in order to be able to proceed. So this gets us back to where we were before. And that stays open. Oh, hello, fish. This must be a homage to Meridia. It feels like one because there were homages to Meridia in uh, Metroid Zero Mission as well. That you had to wind up bombing a, uh, a tube to proceed in the post game. Oh, yeah. I, I'm tr Sir, I'm trying to monologue. Or, or ma'am, or however you identify. Pirates, I am trying to monologue. Blasted Zebezians. They're adaptable, if nothing else. Whoops, and I ran right into a fish. But yeah, it's interesting seeing just how everything has changed. But yeah, there are much higher stakes. You're starting to go against the Federation's orders. Everything is slowly changing. Like I said, there's that sense of melancholy about it all. Can we get anything in here? No, we can just wipe out the scissors and get some lunch. It's a very sorrowful moment. Just everything has sort of fallen apart. You don't know what's going on. You don't know who to trust. We can't do anything about that. We can move through this way. So there's a save station there as well. But we can actually wind up getting some pickups if we move fairly carefully through this area. Well, that's a good shot. So yeah, we can hit that power amp with the shot from just the right spot because otherwise it blocks us. I need to wait for that to go away. Alright, we'll damage burst through it. Whoop, avoid that, blast that. Because I think this is, a, is somewhat necessary for proceeding. We, we know where this area is. But we can't get out because of the power amp. We have to go a different way. So this area has been shut off by one of those big cagos. We can freeze them, but we can't kill them. 
what we can do is run through destroy those and we go through here now I believe this is necessary for proceeding but there is also a pickup we can get in here too Might as well scavenge everything we can. Through here! And we get a power bomb. We can sneak through to the previous area by using a hole in the wall. At least I think we can. No, maybe we can't. I thought we could, but we got the item we needed. Now, we need to let those power amps form. Because this is basically how we get out of here. We need to scale the tower of power, or tower of power amps... Stick our landing just right because we have. We have to land just. We have to land just there, but we can't do anything about that, ju that bit just yet. Maybe if we did some tricky shots, but it's so much easier. If we come back with an item we're about to get. So, plenty of plenty of parasites for us. And no missile blocks. But we can drop down to the data room. We can't go through because of the power amps. But we do have a pickup we can get. Once again, we're going against Federation orders. The diffusion missiles are ours. These essentially give us an explosive... An even more explosive missile effect. Let's go back here. Drop another power bomb. And if we go through here, let's test them out. Fire! Missile blocks are destroyed instantly. There's a tunnel here, too. Nothing opens up. But we've got a pathway through to Sector 6. Once again, we can't do anything because we need the screw attack. But that's just really handy to know for when you're exploring. Because we do want to move between the sectors very easily later on. I wonder if there's anything hidden down here. Nothing for the power bomb sweep. Now, we need our diffusion missiles to proceed. And I can imagine that things aren't going to go down very well because we've just decided to wander off and do our own thing. Was there an energy tank somewhere I missed? I can't help but think I should have 17 energy tanks. Ah, uh, something's just gnawing at me. Oh well. We can come back for a final item sweep later. So, we can now proceed past the power amps. We're back in the main part of Sector 4. So, we can... If needed, loop back all the way back to sector five. To sector five, we know how to get to sector four. We're all good to go. Found a few extra bits and pieces. If there are any other items I've missed, I'll show you what to do later on. Let's head up here, and we are going to get a right bollocking. Might as well top up. And 
and let's slightly sheepishly wander in. No, let's be confident about this. You upgraded your missiles? That's unusual! There was no word from HQ. A, a procedural error, I'm sure. Even so, I did not approve of bypassing security level 4. From now on, you will use more discretion. In any case, Samus, do you remember the security robot you faced earlier? I believe the eggs have infected it. That is to say, they have claimed the organic components that form its neural network. It has entered Sector 6 NOC. I don't know what it's planning, but let's not wait to find out. Samus, you know what to do. Is your objective clear? To Sector 6, quickly! So we probably can do a little bit of exploring. I don't think there's too much more we have to do across the other sectors. Not off the top of my head anyway. I think we just need to head down and face our robot. Because we'll get to all the exploration bits and pieces later. Let's head on down. And we're once again working on the night shift in Sector 6. We'll get another briefing. More yelling, I bet. The security robot seems to have gotten much stronger. This worries me. Be careful. But we have another problem. Once you're done, leave NOC immediately. The SAX is tracking you. Is your objective clear? Don't stay longer than you must. Understood? Well, that... doesn't bode particularly well. Seems like things are getting a bit worse. But... we are a fair bit stronger. We would probably stand a chance nowadays. What's got them so worried? Why is Adam doubting our capabilities? We've taken on some of the strongest foes we can. We're still not quite, maybe not quite ready. But we're pretty well equipped. And we're going to get our last beam weapon too. Enemies are still doing a bit of damage. Still can't shoot through walls, but we will get that ability shortly. As I've said, this is the only time in the series, unless your sequence breaking in Super Metroid, that you will get the plasma beam before you get the wave beam. It's just a little unusual. Nice little touch. So we can do a fair bit of exploring around here, but it's probably not quite the right time for it because we do need the screw attack for quite a few things. We'll get there, of course. Nothing through here, is there? Might as well try. Nope, nothing. So, we, we'll just have to blast our way through the fields of enemies. You're definitely right to think that something is suspicious. As a matter of fact, a few people do actually suspect, while it's never quite been proven, that Adam may have something to do with the fact that you wind up encountering the security robot. Did he somehow have some measure of control over it? Because it's just, as you start discovering the secrets of the Federation, as you start going rogue, more and more problems pop up. In fact, there are, on occasion, what people believe are deliberate references to HAL from 2001. Which is actually pretty impressive, because I believe that's what you're meant to think. You are definite. I definitely believe you're meant to think that there is something like that going on. And it's pretty cool in all fairness. Just adds to that sort of sinister sense that everything's going off the rails. That you're doing what you need to do. 
but somebody else is stopping you from doing even more. There's nothing in here, if I, if I remember correctly. It just really enhances the whole picture that there is this massive, massive conspiracy going on behind the scenes. And in this case, there is. Like, it's not just... It's not the entire Federation, but there are people who are stupid enough to use the very things Samus has fought as weapons. And you have to wonder why. Why would anybody be stupid enough? We've seen what can happen. And we're going to wind up getting some of the consequences brought onto our head very soon. Got a big boss fight coming up too. Now, I did mention it earlier, but once we go through here, we can now space jump to the top of the Barrier Corex's boss room, and those really do look like eyes. Like, you just look at the... Let me get into the... It looks like a face, doesn't it? It really, really looks like a face. Like something menacing is watching you. I love that. I love the background in this. I love the art style of this game. It's phenomenal. Now, I know we need to bomb our way through somewhere. But where? Is it here? I admit I've kind of forgotten exactly where I need to blast through the floor. I hate doing that. It's somewhere near here. Somewhere we need power bombs for. We have to do a bit of exploration. And I, like I said, I always, always manage to forget. Now there should be... It seems like there should be something in that room where we escape from the SAX. Maybe it's... Oh, maybe it's back. Hang on. Give me a tick. And I'll see if I can find out where on earth I'm... It's through here, isn't it? I blast this, and it's through here. I'm pretty sure it's through here. That's right, because I keep forgetting that it's like, oh, I don't think I need to go through this room because of the fact there's a pickup in here I need the screw attack for. Like, you go through here, you need to, those. But you don't have enough... I don't think you have enough space... You don't have enough space to start the Shine Spark. Unless... Unless... N no! Oh! I fell into that trap, didn't I? There's something there. I can't easily get out, can I? So, there's this pickup here, but we can't do anything about that. And I can't... Wait, what's in the roof? Is that... Ah, oh, they're screw attack blocks. I need the screw attack. So, it looks like I missed that, because I accidentally walked straight forward. So, we haven't found our security robot yet. Guess we're just going to have to keep going. I always think there are more pickups in here than there should be. Like, it just feels like there should be something hidden in this room. But unfortunately, I don't think there is. We just have to proceed as best we can. There's nothing there. 
If we go this way, we've got a save station. I think we're probably getting to the point we can actually wrap things up pretty soon. Because we have to shoot that bit. And there's a level 4 hatch down here. Something is here. Is this why Adam was so tetchy about us actually unlocking level 4 hatches? Let's find out what's on the other side of the door in the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me. Till next time, this is Red 2 returning to base.